Okay guys, this week we've got rock and roll music. Chuck Berry. Um, so, I got a capo on the third, second fret, sorry. The chords to this should be A, second fret, with a bit of rock and roll rhythm. D, which will be the seventh fret. It's also got an E, which will be the ninth fret. So it's an A D E. Now, because I've got the capo on there, it looks like I'm playing uh, G, C, and D. And all the spaces of it, yes, I am playing that. I am playing G, C, D. But if you listen to it, this is that. That D there would be exactly the same. It's a C position, but that's, that's a D with that capo on or with that capo off. And the reason I'm using a capo is because at the end of the last line, there's a section where you're playing uh, the E. It's gonna be rock and roll music if you wanna dance with. And rather than going up there to the A, me and back to the E if you want to dance with me so instead of doing that I'm doing gonna be rock and roll music if you want to dance with me if you want to dance with me now that's the whole reason I'm using the capo okay so let's just I'm going to call that an A when I'm up here and I'm calling that a D and I'm calling that the E as if the capo wasn't there okay so we're off we go just let's hear that now we've got A rock and roll the music with the rock and roll rhythm any old way you choose it D it's got a on the seventh fret Back beat, you can't lose it. Back to the A, second fret. Any old time you use it. E on the ninth. Excuse me. It's gonna be rock and roll music. Stay on that E. If you wanna dance with, now the A. Or if you haven't got a capo, you'll play that there. If you wanna dance with me. Or up there. I got no kick against. E, modern jazz, unless they play it A, too damn fast, and change the beauty of the D, melody, until it sounds like an E, symphony, that's why I go for that rock and roll in music, any old way you choose it, it's got a bad song is that easy <clears throat> it only lasts two and a half minutes so when I'm playing it I put a little bit of rock and roll bluesy type stuff in here so if I got say like the end of the third verse before doing the chorus I would um, all shook up yeah and instead of going to I would start doing a bit of bluesy bit
That's what I tend to do. So what I did there was um, uh, a bit like JJ Cal, I suppose. Middle string, outside string, bass string. Then just slide down to the D. was uh, played on the 14th fret, which is the A, and I'm picking down, up, up, down, up, up, and then playing the, uh, what we've got there, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17th fret, 17, 16, 14. So that's on the high string. I've got such an easy nose for some reason today. Okay, we've got that. On the high string, then the middle string, and then doing a run down here. On the second, third, and fourth. Two, three, four, five. So which brings us back to the D. And just playing around that. So that's it, otherwise that song just goes in an instant, just two and a half minutes, it's not very long at all. Anyway, I think that's it probably for today. So if you've enjoyed it, I think you know what to do by now. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Just let me hear some of that rock and roll